Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review. You know why? Because I love some freaking Transformers. Today, we'll be taking a look at X Transbots. This is Von James. This is Punch Counter Punch. This is the American version. They got a Japanese version as well coming out. I don't know if sure we can get that one or not. I do have it on pre order, but we'll see. But there you go. Got this from Chosen Prime. Thank you so much for getting this out to me really quickly. But there you go. Nice box art right there. Got the X Transbots. On the back, you got the tech specs and everything. All that good stuff. And under there, you got the what's coming up and everything. So very nice. All right. So let's just get right to it. But before that, please hit that like button. Hit me up with some comments. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. It all helps out the channel, the algorithm, algorithm, nation, all that good stuff. Really helps me out. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right to it and we'll review X Transbots Punch Counter Punch. All right, good stuff. All right, let's see what he comes with first. And he comes with a nice car, nice thick stock. X Transbots, Bond James on the back. You can pause for the cause. I'm sure that's uh, what's on the back of the box. And he does have some tech specs. So that's pretty cool. Nice little picture. And you get his instructions, which is pretty good. You know, they show everything for the transformation and switch out the heads and everything. Speaking of heads, he gets his double-headed uh, size. So I think I may be wrong. I, I'm, you know, I don't know. Um, this might be the more comic, uh, you know, or I'm uh, not comic. I'm sorry, tune uh, version of him. So very nice. Got some nice blue for the visors. Uh, yellow is painted too as well. Then on the other side, you got the blue and the red visor. So I think this is more tune accurate. And you got another faceplate for, you can either put it on this one, whichever one you want, or you can put it on the other one uh, that's under, you know, the already on the car. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But that's, he got the, ooh, you know, kind of, you know, and got the nice blue visor, nicely painted. You get two weapons, one for each side. You get the yellow. It's just plastic. It's a double barrel kind of missile. It may be painted, but I think it's just plastic. It's got a nice little sheen to it. So that's very nice. You got that. And you got the just black plastic one. And a little sculpt work in there. And it will fold up and everything. So I'll show you that in a minute what it does. But there you go. That is all he comes with. All right, here he is in card mode. And I have to say, it does look really nice. This blue paint is all, it's all painted. <laughs> Duh, this blue paint is painted. Come on now. But yeah, it's got nice blue paint. It's got like a metal flake to it in too as well. I don't know if you can tell it on camera if you look at it, but it's got a nice, like a glittery effect to it, which looks really good. QC Pass 02, I'm going to take that off because it looks ugly. Love the black tinted windows. Love the ruby red uh, rims. That is nice. you got rubber tires as well. That is nice. I like that. I'll do a little front. you got the uh, orange for the front headlights and everything. And then the headlights will pop open. I'll show you that in a minute. But very nicely done with that. All Like I said, all this blue is nicely painted. got some black as well on the back. Really nice. Got a little little space in there between. I try to squeeze it as best I can, but it just won't uh, go all the way in there. But you do got some tail lights, which are red, and you got silver and kind of a white. And you got the nice uh, tail pipes and the red right there. I think this is a Fiero. Fiero, I think is what it's called. Yeah, old, 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 old school, 80s kind of thing. And there's underneath. Now, see, you got that uh, thing. I think this one, you can use this faceplate. To replace this one and i'll show you that in a minute and i'll show you how to take that off and everything too as well but there's underneath and it does have a couple of features in there so what i do you can open up the doors usually just kind of press this in like that and you can open up the doors um nothing really in there i get you see his hand uh you know right there it kind of looks like a seat a little bit you know, I guess if you squint your eyes and turn it sideways a little bit, you can tell it's a, it's a seat or something like that. I guess you want to call that. But um, not much in there. You can see the arms and everything. Not much of the dash or anything like that. So nice uh, nice tinted windows and everything. So, yeah, you know, it's a pretty cool feature, I guess, if you want to say it. And then if you want to uh, pop up the uh, headlights, you can press this in right here and press this one in right here. I wish it's kind of smoother, to be honest, but, you know, it comes out okay. And they are nice translucent, translucent plastic, and you can have them up there as well. 
kind of looks like a face. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> you got the mouth right here. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, and another thing is you can store the weapons. Okay, so like I said, you can fold this gun up right here and like this. And what you do is you kind of untab. You can see there's two little tabs right here and you can untab it right there. And what you're basically going to do is you're going to try to fit this in right there. There's two little slots right here. There's a slot up here and a slot right there. And you can try to kind of fit it in there right there. And then you can close it up and it will stay in there like that. So you got that one in there. Now the yellow one, what you got to do is you have to turn this right here. Turn it. It's got it's on a mushroom peg right there. And basically what you're trying to do is there is two little slots under, and back there, I don't know if I can show it. Hopefully I can see, you can see it. There's two little slots on this blue piece right here. And what you got to try to do is you got to try to line it up. Maybe you can see it right there. Hopefully you can. A little dark in there. But you got to try to line this up and push it in. But you can only push it with the, you know, the missiles. And it, it takes a little bit, but you're supposed to line it up and kind of push it in there and... I'll do it off camera, but you can push it in there and it will hold that in there as well. So you do have storage. You don't have to leave them in there. You don't have to have them in there at all. Um, but they're just options. If you like to store your guns in uh, alt mode, you have that option. So like I said, you just got to find that little slot right in there. And then you can um, tab that in and have that. All right. So that's about it. That's all the features he has in this uh, car mode. And I think it looks like pretty good. Like I said, it's nicely painted. Nice uh, rims and everything. I like that. And boom, there he is next to uh, Fans Toys Jazz. So, yeah, pretty good scale, pretty good size right there. And I was able to finally get that in there. Like I said, to paint a buck, because all you can do is try to line it up and push it with the two missiles. And you don't want to break that, so just be careful. But, yeah, that's, that's an option, but it's a paint a butt option. But there you go. There's some scale.
All right, back from transformation. Here is Bond James. Not a fun transformation. The legs are pain in the butt. Um, you do it a couple of times. I guess you start getting used to it. Um, but, you know, it's not as worse as Fuzz. Uh, they're uh, streetwise from the Protective Bots, but it's kind of like Overdrive, Override, what it was. Uh, they're Omnibot. It's, just, it's not really a fun transformation. It's the legs are, you know... Anyways, moving on. Here he is. And like I said, this is, I put the new head sculpt on there. This is the uh, other one that comes with it. So like I said, I think this one is the tune version. And you got that. And then on the back, a little difference. You can tell there's a, uh, the ears and the chin are different. Uh, not so fan. Yeah. So that is that. I'm going to do the kind of the Autobot side, I guess. Uh, so here he is, like I said, uh, articulation, look down a little bit, look up, not much. The chin gets in the way. You get a swivel and a little wiggle waggle. You can take it off if you want to. Just unplug that and then plug another head, and uh, you can do that. And if you want to switch out the faceplate, you can lift this up and take it. It's on a mushroom peg. You just pull it out and you can switch that out. So you have that option. All right. Moving on to the show, we got the chest. It's just all yellow. I think it's plastic mainly. Yeah, the blue's painted, which is nice. Um, so you got this, which... This is not good. <laughs> Come on now. There's no way to tighten it either. I mean, it doesn't tab it anywhere. And I, I mean, you may put some Kiki in there. It might tighten it up a little bit. But it will hold it a little bit. But if you start moving it, yeah, it's going to fall down. So, yeah. And you can do the all the way around, but you have to move the 80s woman shoulder pads out of the way to do this to get that in there. And you got a elbow bin. It's kind of ugly, but I understand why they did it because of the, they have to you know use both sides. So you get the full thing. This doesn't tap. See this right here. This doesn't tab in, and this doesn't tab in really. So they're just, they're gonna come out of place all the time. It gets really annoying. Um, but you got that. It's kind of ugly. Um, it's tight bicep swivel. You got to hold the thing. So I even had to tighten the uh, screws uh, right there because they were getting a little loose. But yeah, that's come on now. Anyways, uh, waist swivel. You got that. You do have a little ab crunch, but you can't look up. So it really doesn't matter. So that's that. Um, you got these hip skirts. But they're really tight too as well. And the legs are tight too as well going out like this really tight you got the little squeaky you get the van dam all day but they are really tight be careful with that you got front which i do like the ratchets daddy likes some ratchets in the back so that's good you do have a thigh swivel but you kind of got to move these out to get it and everything this feels like die cast maybe kind of cold so this i think this is die cast so you got a little weight to them all right moving on to the knees okay so at the beginning you have to transform so there's a little little slot right there on that black piece, and it's got to find this part right here. But it's going to come on tab quite a few times. And when you do come on tab, it's a little loosey-goosey right here. So once you tab it in, it's good, and you can get the 90-degree knee bend. But, and you can get this too as well if you want to because the knee bend for the other guy. Um, but that's going to come on tab quite a bit easily. And once again, tolerances. Um, so that's going to be a little bothersome. Uh, moving on down, you got the nice blue paint. Uh, the feet, got a rocker, no uh, toe tilt up or down. These feet are kind of ugly. They're kind of weird. Be careful with this piece. There's just one thin piece right here. It tabs in to this right here. Uh, just be wary. Don't, you know, try to break it, you know, bend it too far. It's going to break. But, I mean, he got a little rocker. It's decent. So, okay. All right. So then you want to move him to the other side and you just flip these up right here 
turn them around, move this around. Like I said, this doesn't tab anywhere. Oh, I didn't go over hands. I'm sorry. Uh, you do got the um, booger picker is by itself, and then you got the other three fingers are in a, on a pin itself as well, and you do have a swivel for that one. Sorry, I didn't go over that. All right, get these out. These are really in there tight as well. So you might have to get a spudger. Spudger is your best friend when you're dealing with third-party stuff. There's that one, and then this one. That. Uh, where does Butcher go? There it goes. Get this out right here. And move that in right there. And there you go. There's his other side. Same articulation. You do got a little more you can lift up a little bit because it's not a big chin right there. Uh, shoulder pads. You do the same thing. And like I said, it's going to be ugly. You got that thing going on right there. And so forth. So, yeah, same thing, same thing. Just uh, say once again, this came untabbed. Just be aware of that. All oh, the tolerances on this thing. All right, well, there you go. That is, oh, um, with the uh, the guns, for some weird reason, they got a hole right there on the side in the, of his hands, and you have to kind of slide it in. And there you go. That's not the best right there. And same thing with the uh, yellow hand. It's got a hole right there, and it goes in the uh, yellow gun, tabs in into it like that. So it's just kind of weird. I don't know. Weird like that. And that's it. That's with the guns. So there you go. That is a punch counter punch. I do like the silver right there. It's nice and everything. But oh, the materials, man, for this thing, man, sometimes I don't know. I just don't know about X Trans bots. But there you go. Real quick, I'm going to show you. Man, I barely, I can't even get the gun into it. I don't even peg into it. And I don't want to try it too force it because the thumb doesn't move. So um, be careful. I mean, it will not even go, but it's supposed to go through that hole right there. Anyways, um, also I forgot to mention, I kind of wish that they could have hid the face, you know, because basically if you're just walking behind him, you can see the face. I mean, just, um, there is a way you can do this if you want to. Kind of looks goofy. Let me let's see if I can. Well, shoot. There it is. So if you lift up this right here, you can turn this around. And I guess you could do that. And if you use the other head right here, if you lift this up, it kind of looks like a clown. So if you put that head on, you like, hey, everybody. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, I kind of wish, I mean, I guess if you want to do that, you know, it, it, it kind of looks weird. But, yeah, just I wish they could, you know, I think Power of the Primes or the Powder Prime ones, you, they at least you could pull the, you know, the helmet down over its face and you could, you know, kind of cover it. But uh, I wish they would have done that. Man, these, come on now. Golly, that's just bad. All right, through an MP44 Optimus Prime, you got fans, toys, hoist, and pipes over there. You do got overdrive from their, uh, from X Transbots as well. I got side swap for a masterpiece. Also, the uh, Generation Toys uh, Bull side swipe. You got uh, Core Class Wheelie and Tits McGee Redgar for some scale. And Carpagonis, crappy tool paper, AAA battery, uh, car mix, carry bears, kicker, and squeaks, more scale. All right, let's talk about some X Transbots Von James, which I like the name. Um, punch, uh, punch, counter punch. Man, I don't know what it is about Xbox or X Transbots. I'm gonna say Xbox. X Transbots, man, they just reel you in. Like, man, it's gonna be better next time. I know it is, and it just is. It's like going to Sonic. You know, so you know Sonic's food is not really that good, but you always go there just to think, man, it's gonna be good. They got good burgers. They got fries. You know, they're, they're all right. Um, but this, I don't know, man. I love the car mode. Looks great. The paint really shines in this. I have to say, the paint on this is spectacular. The blue is really nice. And the nice red rims. You got some yellow and orange here and there. Really nice on the paint job. So that's good. Uh, but I do like the car mode. Looks good. You got a couple uh, gimmicks. You know, the lights. I wish, you know, once again, the tolerance, it kind of gets stuck in there. So you got to push it in. You got to wiggle waggle with it. Just be careful. You don't want to break it. Uh, but yeah, I like the car mode. Transformation. Uh, I, I mean, the legs are just not fun. Uh, this is not a fun bot to transform back and forth. I'm just going to be there right now. It's not as worse as Fuzz, uh, like I mentioned earlier, but it's it's up there. It, it's up there. So not a fun transformation. You know, it, it, once you do it a couple times, it gets a little easier, but it's still not fun. Uh, bot mode, the, I like the design. It looks good. You know, both sides look good. I, I like this side better than the other one, but, you know, they both look fine. You know, it's good. You know, everything. Uh, accessories, you know, you get the two guns, that's fine. It's weird that they got the holes in the hands to 
you get through, that's fine. You know, it's weird. Uh, they get the head sculpt. You get two different head sculpts. That's, you know, cool, you know, with that. And you get another faceplate, you know. So, you know, you... Like I said, I don't know which one. I think this one I have on is the Tune Accurate one, I guess. I may be wrong. I'm sorry if I am. You know, somebody will correct me. But pick one you like, and that doesn't matter. If you like it, that's all that matters. That's all that really matters. So, yeah. Um, articulation eh, is lacking. You know, the you know not a huge, there's, you know, decent rocker. But, you know, you got a waist swivel. Um, the, you know, shoulder pads getting away a little bit. Um, the tolerances. This right here, that is just ugly. And then this right here. I mean, come on now, the tolerance. And then they're really tight on the legs. Be careful of that. You don't want to snap anything. But this, and then the, uh, you know, the hand not tabbing in. And then this, uh, it just, this always comes undone as well. When you're manipulating him, it's, it's just not fun. You know, it's just, it's like, it's transbox, man. They just, like I said, they, I think they could compete with fans toys if they just put their heart into it. It's just, you know, like I said, you know, they got some, the uh, big load or whatever, Constructicons come in. They look good. They really do. This looked good. You know, at the, you know, pictures watching, you know, looking at it. I mean, like, I was really excited for it. Then you get it, you're just like, oh, man, X-Trox, x, x, x bots being x trans bots. It's just like, you know, I think they could compete with fans toys, but I think mainly x trans bots are just placeholders. They used to be. You know, I don't think most, a lot of people now uh, don't want it, but I just give it a soft, I get a soft uh, recommend because I don't think anybody's going to make a punch counter punch. Maybe fans hobby might do something like it, but I don't know if I, I don't see fans toys doing it. Maybe, I don't know, but you know, I think this X trans boss mainly is a placeholder for other stuff. Uh, used to be, um, you know, it's still like, you know, MFC came out with something or, you know, fans toys or, you know, somebody else like that. I just, I, I don't know about X trans boss, man, but I think the only way reason to get this is, it's not going to be made by anybody else, and it fills in the gap, you know, giggity. Um, it looks good on a shelf, you know, you leave it alone, but if you want to mess around with it, it's not fun. You know, like I said, the transformation is not fun. Uh, all these tolerances and stuff, you know, the, it's just it's not really fun. The materials, you know, I guess they're fun, um, but be careful. Like I said, transforming the legs, there are some small bits, you know, bits and pieces. Uh, you don't want to break that. Uh, the knees also as well, you know, they're fine until you start messing with it and then they start getting a little loosey-goosey. It's like, come on now. So, get back in there, yeah. And then they, this uh, panel comes out uh, quite a bit if you're, you know, manipulating him. I don't know. But anyways, if you like it, that's all that matters. But I said, if you just want to get this just to, you know, say you have a masterpiece punch counter punch, that's the only reason why I would probably get it. So, hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And hit me up some comments. Tell me if you thought of the review. Are you getting this guy? Are you getting the Japanese one? Are you just passing on this one and waiting on maybe hopefully somebody else will make it? We'll see. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next Transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking X Transbots. <laughs> good night, folks. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made it this far, once again, really appreciate that. Quick question. Who is, is anybody out there, is x Transbots your favorite company? I mean, as always, do you get a perfect, you know, uh, you know, transformer from them? Never have any issues, um, which I, a lot of people have issues with these. But would love to hear if you're, if, you know, your favorite company is x Transbots. Uh, definitely hit me in the you know comments for that. But they just, they, they suck you in. Like, you see them pictures, you're like, man, it's going to be different. De it's definitely going to be different. And, you know, like I said, only reason why I mean hundred dollars, not terrible, not gonna break the bank, but you know if you you know want your count you know punch counter punch and you want to get you know mark it off the list, you know I guess you can get this one or you maybe can wait for somebody else. I don't know I don't see anybody else making it, but good luck with that. But yeah, is that X Transbot your favorite company? All right, more time you gotta love it.